today oh, on an absolutely bitterly wet cold Sunday um, yeah freezing I'm still wet through now absolutely soaked and cold too far as on the bar jobs are good so today is day 13 of the of the of the venture beer and um, without further ado you see the breath, cold as they come. Um, let's open door 13 and uh, see what awaits one. Ah, it's a bottle that I know. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting. To... Good evening. I wasn't expecting to be home this early, but we couldn't take it anymore. We were freezing, wet through cold. Oh, this looks interesting. Good evening. So from Brampton Brewery, um, I'm not sure where that is. It's Winter Bark. Yeah, I know. I've been chucking him out just recently. I really want to calm down. And uh, fucking cold. Brilliant. It was. It, it was nice. You know, it was a, a nice festive day, but very, very wet, very cold. And uh, but got on loads. I mean, I, got, I went on the um, Spinball Wizard seven times. It was good. But never in such cold conditions have I ever been on Spinball Wizard. Do you know, usually I'm scared about the heights. I was wrapped, and, wrapped up with my coat around, it zipped up, all, to, all done, and I'm just holding on and just trying to keep warm. So the, the actual ride didn't bother me at all. Yes, I think it is, isn't it? I was thinking of one in Newark that's similar sounding name. So yeah, barley wine. 6%. My dad would have loved this. He loved the barley wine. I think it's what sent him out wappy in the end, but um, and it doesn't really say anything else. www.bramptonbrewery.co.uk. Yeah, just drove back from there. Blood, yeah, I've just got back home five minutes ago and spent five and a half hours there. Uh, did all the rides, you know, some of the stuff's not open because it's in tier three, as we are in Nottingham, and um. Whatever it was awful. It was, if you could have choose a day not to go, this would have been a day not to go. But hey, yeah, it's done. You know, you pay. We pay twenty four pounds each for me and the wife, and I think it was fifteen for my son. So it ended up being sixty three quid. So factor in twenty quid for petrol and about twenty quid or twenty five quid on stuff. So over hundred quid for the day. But you know, the lights were amazing. It's all so festive. And obviously, to get on theme park rides as well, this late in the year, awesome. I mean, I'd love to go to Disneyland Paris at this time of the year, but obviously at the moment, we ain't going nowhere, are we? Well, I'm on this vaccine takes over and we're all back to normal. Oh, old Tom's. Cracker of a beer. And from their website, you can get old Tom with chocolate and old, and old Tom with ginger. Now, if you like ginger beer, Old Tom with... Good evening. Old Tom with ginger is uh, is very nice too. So, a barley wine. Um, the only barley wine I've had recently. So, nearly black poor. Just an off-white head. You, would you call it off-white, light tan? Um, the only barley wine I've had is uh, Woodford's Headcracker. I brewed 40 pints of it. And I'll tell you what. That was some good stuff, that was. Although... The shed got up to 120 degrees a couple of days. I think it was two years ago now. It wasn't this last year. It was two years ago. Elite, it was the very early days of this channel. And it, the all the free kits brewed in two days, which is an outstanding, you know, for beer kits. And it was good, strong beer as well. Nice, roasty nose. And after driving on the motorway, I've got to admit, when it comes to driving, I don't like driving in the dark and when it's bloody wet because you get the mist. So you can't see anyway. You've got these bloody dragon's teeth or whatever you call them in the road. And you, half of them are missing, so you, you can't see your lines. And it's like, fucking hell, I'm driving at 70 and I can't see where I'm going. So, and obviously, and you can't always slap your heart, um, headlights on, you know, your full beam on. And they're going past trucks with all that, that you know, all the mist and the throw off it. Awful driving conditions. And then you get into the, where the lights are and it's like, whoa. 
I'm doing 70, 75 or whatever, and everyone's flying past me. But 70 is enough. 72, you know, it's enough. I think you can drive to 77 and not get a speeding ticket, so it's all good. Although my car, it probably says 75 and it's 70. I, I always find that in mind. Whenever I go past any speed canvas, when it, you know, these things that measure your speed, and you're doing, you look down, you're doing 30, you're like, no, I'm doing 30, 30. And you look and it says 27, you think, hey, hold on a minute, it says I'm doing 30. So, good evening. Barley wine tonight. Oh, that's got some. That's nice, that is. Winter bock. So basically like a winter beer, really. Barley wine. Nice, roasty, toasty elements on the nose. Same on the taste. You know, that, that follows through into the taste. And uh, there's chocolate there. I've got to say, good wallop of alcohol. The sort of beer. Now, this to me is one of them beers that better warm. Obviously, I don't know what's in this box. So I can't be, I'm not cheating either. I don't look beforehand. If I cheated, then I'd go in up the arse and warm the beer up so it's warm and I drink it. But, you know, you can't always drink, can you? Um, if I was to get it again, it'd be at room temperature and uh, sat in front of the fire like I'm doing at the moment, trying to uh, dry myself off. Feet are wet, jeans are wet. And you know, sometimes working outside for 30 years, you'd think I'd be used. All right. You think I'd be used to the cold weather, but I'm not. I'm still Nesh. <laughs> still don't like the cold. Um, there's a point in the year when, when winter strikes and you're like, oh, God, I hate being in the garden. At the same point, there's a point in summer when it goes over 30 degrees and you're the same, you think, oh, flipping ain't being a gardener. You know, you're sweating your balls off and people are in an air-conditioned block and they're moaning because they're stuck inside an office and you're outside sweating your head off. You think, I'd rather be in the air-conditioning. Oh. So another week at work, four-day week. Oh, and then a break up. Crack on. And uh, I will do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and missed Thursday and work Friday, but no, 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 sod that. Work Monday to Thursday, break up Friday, back in two weeks on Monday. And enjoy the Christmas holiday and the festivities. And being able to see your family again, you know, for the five days of Christmas. Well, I suppose legally, I mean, I see people all the time. Up and down the street where I live and everywhere all going in each other's houses it seems like everyone's getting you know not giving them monkeys but obviously everyone's worried about someone grassing them up i mean i've seen it online yes i should be doing the odd day review yeah i'll be glad to get rid of the uh, advent calendars or oh, I, I should be doing some reviews over christmas that's for sure if it's funny you know last night i did the two reviews and then i thought that's it no beer so I went up the ass and uh, I know, shit in it in Wales. They ain't, the pubs aren't open here in Nottingham. And uh, went up the ass, didn't do, didn't drink a single beer after that. Got to half 11 at night. I'm on the computer updating reviews and what. Yeah, tier systems are a pain. Uh, for me, to be honest, the pubs should be open because the pubs are more they are more COVID secure than a lot of other places. Good evening. Oh yes, thirsty ferret. I do wish Badger would bring out Golden Glory again. Don't know why they got rid of it. Yeah, pubs are safer. Uh, in Nottingham, the only reason the only reason it spiked in Nottingham was because the student population. I mean, if anybody's a student here, you know, it might not be the same in other areas, but in Nottingham, it was all blamed on the student population. They spread it, they come into the shops, they spread it even more. But apart from them, you know, the rest, Nottingham was one of the lowest in the country till they came back to the universities. I mean, people's livelihoods are at stake. You sit in there with, with your pub now and you want to be open. Yeah. 
I mean, this is the busiest time of the year for pubs. Um, you know, get the bloody pubs open. I don't know. Now, with students, I don't understand why. With today's technology, and let's be fair, we can all do webcams. Everyone, nearly everyone's got that ability these days. And if they haven't, sort them out. So the student population could be could be taught um, remotely. You can't open pubs remotely. You can't open restaurants remotely. You know, and uh, to put the money back in the economy, opening the pubs and restaurants before Christmas for me is critical, especially going into Brexit. You know, you want money flowing around, right? Well. That's the thing, isn't it? I've had a lot more <laughs> during COVID. <laughs> I mean, I've had other reasons to drink more, but um, I've had some reasons to drink more, but I've certainly drank more. And I'm trying to wean myself back off it. And it's not easy. You know, when you get used to drinking a certain amount. Oh, this is nice. It's not barley wine as I remember barley wine. To me, it's like a... Like a good strong stout with flavouring, but um, really nice. This is the sort of strength that Sadler's Christmas pudding stout was last year before they obliterated its name this year. Pissing down outside again. Work tomorrow in the pouring rain. I shall get some fires going in the woods. Get warm that way. Burn loads of wood. Yeah, I've already said to my wife, if, if the restaurants open up on the 16th, because that's when the review is. I mean, let's be fair. If you're a smart um, prime minister, you would open up the restaurants, the pubs, get money flowing around the economy. And then if you have to close it, put a lockdown in, do it from the set, January the 1st to the 30th of summer. Because not many people go to restaurants and pubs in January anyway. It's this lead up to Christmas and around Christmas is where a lot of money's made. I mean, I can't see there being any New Year's Eve festivities this year. Then again, I don't care. It's just about New Year's Eve. We've always sat at home. We have. I think only once. God, it's really hammering it down now. Only once have we ever been out on New Year's Eve and didn't really. Well, no, sorry, in Northern Ireland. We was in Londonderry at the time and uh, we went over on Boxing Day. Spent New Year's Eve in Londonderry. Had a great crack. Um, great party. Although we live on the Protestant side, so they were taking the piss out of the Catholics. But a lot of it went over my head. And there's things about mix and other things. And I, I'm sitting there thinking, don't understand this terminology. But, you know, it was a good laugh in, in any case. Although I think money, money is the issue. With religions around the world, it's all about money. I'm really enjoying this. Good strength, good wallet to the strength. I mean, it's only 5.9. Well, no, 6%, I do beg your pardon. But yeah, Brampton Brewery. I'm liking that. It's always nice when you pull one out, as it, as it were, pull one out of the bag. And, um, you know, it, it's a really nice beer. It's down your street. This is certainly a beer that ticks my boxes. I mean, it's a good thing we don't all drink the same beers. Life would be boring, wouldn't it? You know. I mean, I'm truly not a fan of the um, the wine typey beers that we had i had on in the other advent calendars of the other day i'm not a type of them sort of beers like a wine sour beer um not my cup of tea whatsoever but this good strength nice stouty type of beer even though it says it's a barley wine um yeah it's the spot massively just a shame Ooh, really get the ABV and uh, ooh, just what's needed after a cold day out there fries on two bars 
I'm starting to dry off. I was going to wear my Christmas jumper tonight, but it's absolutely sodden. So that's on the radiator ready for tomorrow for work. And uh, looking forward to a great Christmas, you know. We always try and have good Christmases. Uh, have the family around. It's always about family. <clears throat> and we've cooked our own Christmas dinners the last few years. Mainly because the father-in-law is moaning all the time. All of a sudden, there's a load of comments. This has been doing this quite recently, where the co oh, hey, oh. where the comments. There we go. Bloody hell! Ah. Ah, that's probably down by Canal Street. The, the one with the Castle Rock pub. That's probably down there, Canal Street. I can't remember the bloody name of the pub. But yeah, it's a nice pub. It's the Castle Rock pub and they do a lot of nice Castle Rock. That I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, always been Nottingham based. Um... Never been interested in going over there, but, you know. I think sometimes you, you where you're born, you live, don't you? You know, it's never bothered me to go anywhere else. I mean, the wife wants me to go and live in Northern Ireland, but as an Englishman, you'd struggle to get a job because, um, you know, um, they, the, the Northern Irish, they're not keen on um, foreigners. So, English, even if you're English, you're still a foreigner. And it was a thing that, uh, I mean, I remember being over there and they had a right thing against Asians at the time. Whether that's changed now, I think it was because a lot of Asians are going over and uh, going into the shops. And uh, they didn't like them taking over. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lovely place. I'd love to live over there. Yeah, working in Guinness, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh. I want to try some new interesting brews next year. Definitely want to try something different, something more challenging, you know, and stronger. Or oh, a mixing of, of brews, like brewing two two brewing two kits really short, like at twelve litres each, chucking them together and put them putting a bit more sugar in. Oh you bugger. And more yeast and rebrew them again. No, yeah, all right. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? Some people can. I probably would. Being a gardener, I'd probably be able to fit in anywhere, you know, with the with the experience and skill set slash qualifications, whatever. But a lot of people struggle. Well, I've got to say, that was really nice. And I need to kill it off before the 20 minutes because YouTube's got this thing where it don't post it till the next morning if you go a minute over 20 minutes. God knows why. So, barley wine, winter bark. Lovely. Absolutely lovely throughout. Very nice drink. If you like your stouts and porters, this is definitely down your avenue. And the 6% strength goes down the treat as well. Out of 5, 4.4 out of 5. I rated that. Right, time to kill this review off. And get another review on straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat reviewing, can you? It's a cracking way of getting beers for nothing. Awesome. I wish I, I, wish I had somebody who opened a brewery. See you soon. Cheers.